Aswa Iwadalo leads a do governorship race poll shows. <laughs> so they've conducted a poll uh, among the three major uh, governorship contestants in Edo State preparing for this uh, Edo 2024 governorship elections. And that is between uh, Aswa Iwadalo of PDP, uh, Mwanda Pueblo of APC, and Ulumide Akwata of Labour Party. And the poll has just been concluded, and the poll shows that Aswa Iwadalo is leading, leading very, very far. Wow. So let's see. A recent poll of registered voters in Edo State conducted by EDBA indicates that Aswa Iwadalo, the People Democratic Party candidate, is the front runner in the uh, upcoming Edo State governorship election. According to the poll, audited by Business Day, in which 1,179 registered voters uh, residents in a Doe state were surveyed, a commanding 68% of respondents would vote for Iwadalo. And if the election, okay, if the election were held today, so this puts him well ahead of his competitors with all Progressive Congress APC candidate Monde Pueblo securing 18% of the intending vote, and Labour Party's candidate Olumide Apata garnering 14%. Oh boy, that was serious. So, so, so even with that, Olumide Apata is still very, very far behind. So the poll conducted on August 6th, 2024, sought to understand voters' intentions by asking who would you vote for in the Edo governorship uh, election. The finding revealed that while a high percentage of voters, 95.9% have collected their permanent voters card, PVCs, only 73.1% expressed willingness to vote. And those unwilling to vote cited factors such as transportation cost, insecurity, fear of security forces, and a perception that their vote would not count. Of course, it's possible. So the data also highlighted a gender disparity among those likely to vote. Okay, with 68% of potential voters being male and 32% female, despite the INEC voter register, register showing an almost equal distribution between the sexes. So recently, reportedly, recently reportedly incidents, reported incidents of political violence including the death of a police officer killed in a skirmish involving the APC governorship candidate Mondo Pueblo and smearing tensions in the aftermath of the N hashtag NBAD governance protest are likely to result in increased voter apathy, okay, with women appearing to be particularly affected by this. Oh boy. So regarding the sensitive uh issue of zoning 61 percent 61.2 percent of respondents uh, supported the idea of reporting rotating power between different regions in a state in contrast 14.8 percent opposed the concept with 24 percent choosing not to answer sharon orisakwe managing director of edba observed that support for zoning why still strong has dropped by 16.8 percent from the 78 percent support for the idea respondents indicated when edba pulled in january oh boy so zoning remains a hot button issue uh, ahead of the edo governorship election and may in part explain why the first and second ranked candidates are from Edo Central. So the region where supporters of zoning believe the next governor should come from. Orisakwe further stated that having analyzed previous elections, uh, election day voter turnout numbers in Edo State, including the 24% voter turnout during the 2023 presidential election in Edo, we anticipate that Edo State will record high level of voter apathy 
and predict we will see only around 20% voter turnout. So when asked about the most critical issues for the next uh, governor to address, respondents prioritized the increased cost of living for the 6%, um, you know, uh, give gave to increase cost of uh, living to be reduced. Road infrastructure 36% and insecurity 18%. Notably, the poll also found that political party membership is low among respondents with only 19.6% identifying as party members, while 68.7% claim not to have no affiliation. So about 11.7% of respondents declined answering this question. The pool employed proportionate stratified random sampling, ensuring a representative sample drawn from the current INEC voter register. So conducted via randomized telephone interviews, the pool has a margin of error of 3% and a confidence level of 95%. Its reliability was confirmed through a test retest process in five randomly selected local government areas, which yielded consistent uh, results. This poll offers critical insight into voter preferences and concerns, setting the stage for the Edo uh, State Governorship election. Although the PDP candidate currently enjoys a significant lead over his rivals, this poll is not predictive of actual election day voting behavior. <laughs> Okay. As sentiment and voter intent may yet swing in the days left ahead of the September 21 governorship uh, election, EDBA, one of the Nigerian's leading research and data analytics companies, previously conducted governorship polls for Edo and Ondo uh, states in 2020, and more recently polled the 2023 Nigerian presidential elections. Wow. So what we're seeing here is that, you know, um, they've conducted this, this EDBA conducted this poll and a whopping 68% of the outcome went to Iwodalo if the vote is to be conducted today or election is to be conducted today. And about 18% for APC, 14% for Labour Party, Akpata. So already we saw what happened now. And I'm sure what must have happened here, uh, even though they say the poll was conducted on the 6th, we actually saw what happened, even if it was done after the poll, the uh, Edo, uh, Ono Edo Renaissance uh, governorship uh, debate that was conducted. We saw how Iwadalo led the debate effectively um, with Akpata just uh, agreeing behind uh, uh, Asua Iwadalo. And then we also saw how Mondo Pueblo obviously avoided the debate, disappeared mysteriously and did not want to appear there because he lacks what it takes to talk in public. And that is a very, another very bad attribute to him. If he cannot speak to the public, how can he lead a whole state? Okay, so so with what we have seen, it is obvious that uh, Agodalo is most prepared to be the governor of the state with his manifesto resounding in the ears of uh, the people of Edo State. I was surprised that as learned as uh, Pata, he did not come there with a functional or an active manifesto, while uh, Opebolo just disappeared into the thin air. He didn't want to appear anywhere there is public speaking at all. And that shows that he is not ready to lead the people. Hmm. This one is a serious one. I've got a few comments here. Let's just go through it. Uh, somebody said, Aswe Iwadalo and Osarodion Oge, okay, all the way. Governor Mondo Pueblo will win. Watch out. How? Pueblo can only win this election by rigging. But if it's by competence and by preparedness, Pueblo is not there. I disagree from what I've seen so far. Somebody said, show your real pool. It is purely fake. Aswe can't get more than 20% of total vote okay oh fake poll that's what people are saying how is it a fake poll mm? if it's a fake poll then let other people conduct let's see i agree that as the election is getting closer a lot of propagandas will come out but then data will still speak for itself 
So thank you for listening and let's have a comment over this poll that was conducted by EDBA in Benin.